At six, the operation to rescue British nationals from Sudan is underway. RAF planes are involved in the evacuations from an airstrip near the capital, Khartoum. The Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, says there'll be many more flights into tomorrow. We've got an operation up and running for 100 people on the ground, thousands of people in Sudan, British nationals being contacted, and hopefully many of them will make their way to the airport where we have the ability now to evacuate them safely over the next 24 hours. But some British citizens had already decided to take a huge risk and try to make their own way out by road, like this man from Dunfermline. I'm just going to do it myself. I'm not waiting. I think, well, I hope I've done the right decision. Around 4,000 British nationals are thought to be trapped in Sudan after fierce fighting erupted there 10 days ago. Also on the programme. Prince Harry claims his brother William was paid a large sum of money in 2020 by the publisher of The Sun to settle phone hacking claims. The crisis affecting NHS dentistry in England. MPs are told it's time for a complete overhaul of the system. Let's finish this job. I know we can. Are you ever too old? Joe Biden says he'll run for a second term as US president next year at the age of 81. Oh, and the American singer, actor and human rights activist Harry Belafonte has died at the age of 96. And on BBC London, a food charity says it's worried it can't keep up with soaring demand as food costs rise, as does demand for its services.